Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. It's really, really, a it's really a pleasure having you here. Thank you for taking a moment of your time today. And before we can get showing you how it's possible to create a, a deadman switch using Automate, we have a few announcements. First, we are really glad to inform that RSK uh, Rostock will present chronologic Ethereum alarm clock video at Consensus New York conference that will take place on from May 13 to May 15, 15 uh, to May 15, and we believe that uh, and uh, they will be announcing us there as one of the upcoming projects for the RSK ecosystem. Uh, at this point, we'd like to extend thanks for the Roofstock team and leadership for having us in such high regard. Way to go, guys. All right, the second piece of news we have is that another blockchain project has started looking to the Ethereum alarm clock to solve its time-related problem. Uh, this blockchain project is called 2Key. Uh, it is a project that aims to revolutionize and, uh, collaboration and reputation models. And in their blog, they published how they believe that the Ethereum alarm clock can help them work out some time-related problems on the blockchain. Thanks for mentioning us in the article. And also, let's start discussion on how we can collaborate. OK? Uh, now, getting back to today's topic. It's always best being safe than sorry. We must be prepared for anything that comes our way. And unfortunately, this also includes death. Although we all hope to live long and happy lives and die of old age peacefully, sometimes this really isn't the reality. And if anything happens to you, you surely want your loved ones to be able to access your funds and actually enjoy whatever valuables you left behind. But differently from a bank, trust funds, and etc. Blockchain assets will not give themselves to your children if they show it a death certificate. You might remember something that was big on the news a few months ago. The CEO of the Quadriga, Quadriga Exchange died suddenly and millions became inaccessible with his demise. You really don't want your kids not being able to reach your crypto. And thinking of this, we decided to show you how it is possible to create a crude but secure and efficient deadman switch using Automate. So your last will can also be expressed into crypto. Before I call Clarence to show you guys how it's done, I have to thank our community member, Alexander Bakevanov, since he was the first to discuss the possibility of this use case with Eric about a year ago. Thanks very much. Now, without further ado, I'd like to invite Clarence so he can show us step by step how one can create a crypto that man switch with Automate. Clarence. Hey guys. Uh, hey everyone. So Clarence here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a dead man switch. So first of all, uh, we're going to go to uh, my Ether wallet. So we need to uh, create a signed transaction for that. So you need to access my wallet. And then for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the uh, Keystar file. So uh, once you have uh, signed in into your uh, wallet, uh, in this case, uh, my Ether wallet, so I'm just uh, going to click on Send Offline. And then uh, select the type of asset that you want uh, to send to your loved ones. So I'm just going to select Ethereum and the amount. So I'm just going to put a 0 0.1 and then the address uh, of your loved one, for example. So I'm just, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to send it to myself uh, for now. And then the gas limit and the nonce.
I'll just refresh. It seems like uh, my Ether wallet uh, having some issues. I'm gonna paste again the address, and then after that, you click uh, generate transaction. So you get the signed transaction here. You copy this, and then you go to uh, automate. It's uh, automate.kernelogic.network. And then you paste the signed transaction here in the execute uh, section. And then uh, down here, you click the, the checkbox to use the time scheduling function. So you can set the time and the date of the transaction that you want to execute. So I'll schedule this uh, transaction to go off uh, six months from now. So I'm gonna select the date here and then the time. And you can also select uh, the time zone that you want to send and then you click schedule. So you can see the automate link here. Then you can So uh if something uh, after you have uh, scheduled your transaction uh if something uh, bad is going to happen to you so you can leave your loved ones uh crypto but uh if uh, nothing happens to you then you can just uh, cancel the transaction and you can just reschedule at a different time if you want. So let me refresh uh, these steps uh, for you. So you have to first to create the signed transaction via my Ether wallet, and then copy the signed transaction that you have generated and then paste it into Automate. And then in Automate, you can schedule a transaction in, uh, in a uh, time that you want, and then uh, Automate is going to broadcast it if not uh, canceled. So, that concludes my tutorial for today. So I'll hand it uh, over back to Thiago. Thank you very much, Clarence. Uh, as you guys can see, this is really, really a really simple. Uh, these are really simple steps, and they for sure would uh, guarantee the that your crypto goes um, to your loved ones if anything worse to happen to you and also as you could see as well if nothing happens you can just cancel the signed transaction so it's a win-win and you are safer okay guys other than that thank you very much for joining us today for watching this tutorial and our news other than that if you want to keep up with us Please join our Telegram, follow us on Twitter, and also subscribe to our YouTube. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Yeah, great weekend. Bye-bye.